What's going on guys? Welcome back. So I hope you're having a good weekend. And in this video, I'm going to try to explain to you an energy. And there's no particular name for this energy, but it is definitely something that you want. It's an energy. It's more of a vibe, honestly. It's more of a vibe. It's more of a mood. The ancient historians would have called this energy Big D energy. And that stands for Big Dick. Big D energy. But we're going to call it something else. Uh, because it's not all about having a Big D. It's more about feeling like you have weight down here. Okay? Like you're... You're full of something, like you're full of uh, strength. That could be what it is. And naturally, men have a lot of testosterone, a lot more, far more than women. I believe it's about 17 times the amount of testosterone than women do. And so really, you feel this energy when you are healthy and you're well slept and you're well fed. Okay, so those are already the three pillars of monk mode. And what I've noticed, another way to express and explain why you want this energy so much is because it helps you maintain a strong frame. It makes you feel like when you're out in the world, wherever you go, like you belong there and you can interact with the people in your environment and you feel like a man and you feel like you own your space and you sort of give off this presence like you radiate a presence about you and so it is this amazing feeling that comes and when you combine that with just your work creativity I mean that's how we build civilization okay and so I found out five things that helped me to get this energy in my life okay and I again I don't want you to feel like you need to always have this. No. Okay, it's just you know that you're you're in flow. You know you're doing something right when you're feeling like this, okay? So let's get to it. One thing that I recommend you start taking taking is a supplement called zinc. Zinc is very important. It's gonna help testosterone production. And let me tell you, if you are not getting enough zinc, once you start taking zinc, you're going to feel it like this. And uh, it's probably going to be problematic because it's going to make you want to have more orgasms. Okay? And it's actually going to make him even more. And that's going to lead us to the second part is you should be using the leap method which is limit ejaculation and pornography okay so you need to start taking zinc zinc it, it's going to be amazing okay you're going to have some weird dreams starting in the first week but it's going to give you this sense of just strength that you might not have a lack of zinc a deficiency in this actually causes depression lethargy uh low mood it's not good so once you start taking zinc you're going to feel it right away i guarantee it but you need to apply the leap method along with this and it's so crucial okay when i say limit ejaculation and pornography leap you should not get in the habit of watching these videos often you should not get in the habit of orgasming every single day what that is, is just instant gratification. And it's ruining us, man. We, we talk about, we need to stay away from instant gratification on social media. Look, we need to stay away from this huge pleasure. We're just doing it every single day. It's gonna numb you. You're gonna become less aware. You're less energized. There is something about, and this is something a lot of people don't like to talk about because it's so normal, but there's something about when you're not busting nuts all the time, and even during sex, you could actually practice not busting a nut during sex and you'll feel that you get no drowsiness after you're actually invigorated you feel good 
Now, you can bust as many nuts as you want. Do whatever you want, all right? But I know that for me, if I'm doing it all the time, I'm not up to speed. I'm not performing my best. I'm not as creative. Okay, it's once I do that, it's easier to fail on other stuff. It's easier to develop bad habits. So if you want to be the best and you want to, you know, be somebody, you got to be somebody. All right. If you want to get somewhere, you got to be somebody. And if you're getting in this trap of watching porn all the time, it's not good. So you should probably think about how much you're watching this stuff and, uh, you know, what exactly you're doing to yourself because... It's just so available and we're watching two other people and it's just, uh, it has consequences. So don't think that you can beat those consequences and it's just this harmless thing. There's definitely an effect that comes from this. So apply the leap method, share it with your friends and, uh, you know, be a man when you talk about it. Don't fucking pussyfoot around this stuff. You need to be serious. Tell it like it is, man. There's no shame in this. Tell it like it is. So be a man. All right, the third thing, and this is a little, what you could say not expected as much, is fasting. That's right, fasting. Or I would say live and apply the motto, earn your carbs to your life. And when you have to earn your carbs, what that means is you got to work out first, man. I've noticed that if I have an abundance of carbs in the morning, I'm much more groggy and I experience some brain fog sometimes, just not as like clean, zen energy. And you wanna be zen energy throughout the day. So in the morning, I would recommend that you have some fats and proteins and you keep the carbs to a minimum. And if you're gonna eat carbs, make them slow digesting uh, carbohydrates. I would even recommend fasting completely during the morning, working out and then eating later in the day, say after 12 or so. What this does, I've noticed, is it activates a primal part of the brain, and it's going to clear you up. And if you got problems that you're working on, if you seem to be weighed down by stress and anxiety, it's definitely going to give you this mental clarity that you don't get to experience when you're stuffing food in your body. And I think the reason is it activates a primal force in us that's like, look man, you're not getting fed until you go and make the kill make the hunt so if you haven't hunted you i mean you you're gonna be your body's now primed it's like juiced up ready to go into the day and figure out how to get that bread you know what i'm saying okay so you can experiment with that and see if it works for you the mental clarity man if you're dealing with some stuff heed my word fast you don't always need to be eating and if you want to eat then earn your carbs. Eat the carbohydrates after you put in a good workout. It's also gonna help keep you lean, which leads us to our fourth one, which is maintain a relatively healthy, or no, not relative, maintain a healthy body fat percentage. You need to be 10%, in between 10 and like 16, 17, and that seems high, okay? but. You know, you can you can be fine there, but look, don't go past that, man. You don't want to be carrying a gut on you. Do what get if you got a weight on you and you're unhealthy, you're you're getting fat, that should be your priority. You need to cut, you need to do whatever it takes. Cut smoke and weed with your friends. Clean up your refrigerator, throw out the Oreos, do whatever it takes, man, and start to lose weight. There's no way you're gonna be walking around with a belly, feeling better than someone that's doing all these things and uh, keeping himself lean, you know, where he can see his abs and he just feels like you can see veins and stuff. It's like, I'm not saying you need to see veins or abs, but you just look healthy, man. You can see some cuts. So don't be walking around with all this weight on you. It's not good, okay? So 10 to 15, I recommend. You go too low, you're not gonna feel, you actually lose horniness. And another thing is that when you're horny, you actually feel like that's life, dude. That's life working its way inside your body. And that that makes you want to live. If you're not horny, you're like an old man. You might as well just, you know, call it quits. So stop uh, always trying to get the horniness out because the horniness is what fuels you. 
it's the fire in the individual, in the male. It's responsible for accomplishing a lot of great things, okay? And the final, the fifth one is your environment. And what I mean by this is you want to be able to place yourself in an environment that has other people. Part of the reason we may get really unhappy and just uh, desperate, and you could say in a scarcity mindset, neediness, is when we deprive ourselves of humanity and human contact and you know all these good chemicals, oxytocin, looking in someone else's eye. You stop doing that for about a week and you'll notice that you just don't have the same amount of, um, you don't have the same aura and demeanor about you. So actively trying to place yourself in an environment that has other people, like for instance, you could live in a place Say you had the option, you could live in Alaska and live in a mansion, okay? And uh, that sounds kind of good, but it also sounds kind of shit because no one's outside. Except who are you going to talk to, the Eskimos? So what if you were offered a place where it's real sunny, there's parks, people are walking their dogs, riding their bikes, girls are out there running and getting healthy, and there's sun everywhere? Wouldn't you want to live there? It would make everything different. Just the frequency of seeing other people, having human contact, interacting with the people in the shops, buying bread from the local bakery, that would change everything, man. Okay, so your environment counts. And if you're in a state or living in a place that you're just all alone, make an effort. Even if you, maybe you could switch jobs, you work with other people. I'm telling you, it's going to make you, it's going to give you like a sense of belonging when you are seeing other people every day. And normal, normalcy, I don't even know how you say that word, but being normal, okay, you feel normal and less of an outcast when you see more people, okay? When you see and you talk to the people in your environment. So if you don't have a lot of that now and you get the opportunity, take it and develop this big D energy, okay? Develop it, harness it, transmute it, use it, and it's gonna change your life. You're gonna feel way more comfortable in your skin and confident, and uh, there's no excuse to be a healthy young man or to be a healthy man. And women can apply this too, okay? You can have your own confidence, your own sort of swagger throughout your day. Keep it healthy, talk to people, all right? Same thing applies. I love you guys, have a great weekend. And uh, we'll talk very soon. Peace.